Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another comparison smackdown video and I'm really excited to do this one because this product in particular is one of my all-time favorite products that I always have to have in my makeup collection at all times. I use it probably more than any other complexion product really because it is that much of a love and so near and dear to my heart and that is powder foundation. As a combo oily girl, I'm all about my powder foundations year round, every season, rain or shine, I love rocking powder foundation, especially on an everyday basis when I just don't wanna be bothered with liquids and creams. So today we're going to compare my baby, my all time favorite MAC Studio Fix powder foundation to my newest addition to my collection, Kat Von D's powder foundation. So let's get right into the comparison. Okay, so we're gonna go down the list of every category that I know you're gonna wanna know what is up with these two products and we're gonna start with price. First and foremost, the winner, clear winner, comes out to be MAC. MAC is 33 Canadian or 28 US. Kat Von D is quite a bit more pricey at 42 Canadian dollars or 35 US. So if price is an issue, you're counting those coins, definitely go with MAC. Next, we're gonna talk about the amount of product that you get. Clear heads and tails winner, no question about it, is MAC once again. And the difference is actually pretty significant. For MAC, you get 15 grams of product versus Kat Von D's nine grams. That is huge. And actually looking at the packaging, and that is exactly why we need to read the fine print and not assume looking at packaging that you're getting a particular amount of product that you may or may not be getting. The packaging looks very similar and you may even assume Kat Von D's may have a little bit more because it is slightly bigger than Max, but no, Mac gives you almost twice as much product as Kat Von D. Next is shade range and you know that this is my number one pet peeve about products and brands is not providing a wide enough shade range. So as far as shades go, MAC blows Kat Von D out of the water once again with 44, 44, 44 shades compared to Kat's 18 shades. So it really is very, very, very much of a very slim chance that you will not be able to find an adequate shade for you in MAC's powder foundation range. 44 shades is phenomenal. Really, really incredible that MAC has that many shades. And even, I believe, as early as just last year, they added some newer shades to the line. So MAC is just really great for constantly staying on top of their shade range, adding in shades, changing undertones, making sure that everyone is able to find an adequate match for their skin tone. So MAC does it again with providing the most shade range, twice as much as Kat Von D. Okay, the next category, I'm happy to say Kat Von D actually takes the winning title for this one, which is undertones. MAC pretty much sticks with cools and warms. But Kat, I really do commend her for really providing uh, a nice range of uh, undertone varieties. She does pink undertones, beige, yellow, neutral, cool, peach, golden, toffee, caramel, honey. So that is a really, really incredible range of undertones to choose from. But again, the amount of shades aren't as great as Max, but if you are the type of person that has always had a problem finding the perfect undertone for you, definitely check out Kat Von D's line. 
I'm sure that her undertones will serve you better than Max. So the next several categories, I'm gonna group all into one because actually these two products end up tying with one another. And they are packaging, application, longevity, coverage, and how photo friendly they are. So first packaging, pretty much the same. They both come in this very similar style of compact where you have your product on top and you have uh, a sponge in the bottom so it makes it very very easy for on-the-go touch-ups so they've both done an equally great job with packaging application again like I said there is a sponge applicator in the bottom well of the compacts that you can use that I do use when I take my powders on the go at home you can always use your particular uh, application tool that you prefer to use so uh, they absolutely do apply pretty much exactly the same way and they go on in a very identical manner longevity I would definitely have to say it is a 100% tie between the two both powders last all day long of course, Kat Von D has always been known for extremely long wearing makeup and she claims her powder to be 24 hour wear. Of course, I'm never gonna be able to tell you guys whether or not any makeup lasts for 24 hours because I don't wear makeup that long, but they both do last a full eight hour day that I can tell you for sure. Coverage, they really do both give excellent, excellent identical coverage medium to full they easily build up without looking cakey because they are powder foundations I don't recommend using them to set a liquid I know many people do and appreciate the extra coverage but all on their own uh, all by themselves on bare skin I have enjoyed the coverage that both give I definitely find that they both do a great job of covering up imperfections, evening out the skin, uh, blurring pores, all of that. They, they both do not uh, cake up. Um, if you do apply them well, I definitely uh, encourage you to use very light layers and build on top of each layer as you go and only use extra product in the areas that you need to because it is a powder and we all know the more you build up powders the cakier they can be and last but not least how photo friendly are these two powders they are both equally photo friendly I'm actually wearing Kat Von D's powder today I wear powder foundations all the time to film videos especially those days when I just don't want to be bothered with the liquids and creams I just do a little dusting, conceal where I need to conceal, and that's it. And they both do not have any flashback issues and really make your skin look flawless and airbrushed as any other traditional liquid foundation would be able to do. So that's it, guys. That's my comparison between Max Studio Finish Powder Plus Foundation versus Kat Von D's locket powder foundation i am really happy to have both of these beauties in my collection i love them both they both do a fantastic job and i really am impressed with both so please give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think about these two products and i'll see you in the next video bye